if you don't know by now, I'm a cook. Then I, you're here that's right. Out. We don't need to have a jacket on you. Yeah. All right. What do you, you? Well, I know what you're making. Yeah, Tell I'm everybody do, what you're making. Well, here's what happens. Everybody focuses on the meal, um, the dinner meal, and this is breakfast. I'm gonna do a breakfast casserole that you can make the night before. Throw it in the oven in the morning and take it out, and you're done. And we're just gonna throw in some peppers. Some yellow and red peppers. Yellow and red peppers. Some vegetable-based uh, bacon. It tastes really, really good. Is it that the smart flavor. bacon? It's smart bacon, and I don't okay. want anybody to get hung up on a particular product. If you can't get that, you can get a tempe bacon. You can get a vegetable-based uh, breakfast sausage. And it has like the same taste, in my opinion. Yeah. And and it's it's better for you because because there's no animals, there's no cholesterol, cholesterol. it's lower in fat, and it's higher in protein. All right. So we've got higher in protein. Higher in That's protein. That's great. Everybody sure. worries about the protein. All right. Yeah. yeah. Everyone's always concerned. You're not getting enough protein. Where do you see these sides? Okay. Passive. And all of these are available in in regular grocery stores. Yeah. I went out of my way this time to find something that you can get at any supermarket in the Midwest, in Missouri, you know, Kansas. Okay. I want you to be able to pull this off. Okay. Okay. So while these cook. Uh -huh. We're going to go over here. And, and that's do, potatoes. And this is potatoes. Um, if there's a bag of potatoes right here that you can buy if you're lazy, or you can create like two big russet potatoes, they work the same. All right. Turns out great. Okay. So we're going to start with tofu. Okay. And everybody thinks that, you know, uh, tofu. They don't get excited. No. It's good. No one gets excited about tofu. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You don't win friends with tofu. No. Well, it doesn't but, look appealing like that. No. But it's going to take the place of the eggs. Right. And you. Blindfolded, you would not know the difference. Mm -hmm. um, it, it tastes so much. This is a ricer, so I like to use this to smash up the tofu. Uh huh. Um, and then it gives it that scrambled egg consistency. Uh huh. But if you don't have one of these, don't feel like you can't make this recipe. You can just smash it with your hands or a towel okay. and, and, and get the same consistency or a potato smasher. And that smasher. goes in with all that stuff. Everything gets mixed in together. Okay. And the great thing about cooking vegan is you, um, you get to taste the whole time. You don't, if this was raw egg, obviously I wouldn't be tasting it. So you can adjust your salt, um, and you can so adjust your So when seasoning. you made that for me the other day, had you made it the night before, or did you make it that morning for me? Oh, no, I made it that morning. Okay, because yeah. it, it was delicious. Thank you. It was you. great. It, it, you, but the thing is, is that you wouldn't notice. Like, I, okay. you know, I made it that morning, but I could have made it the night before. I just okay. didn't want to sleep at your house. All right, well. Yeah. <laughs> so everything goes in here. You just mix it up in a bowl, and we're going to add... Some garlic powder, some onion powder, and some vegan cheese, vegan cheddar cheese. Now, to me, that's the trickiest thing is to find good vegan cheese because there's some bad ones out there. So, you, is, yes. is that what you use? You can get this at Whole Foods. Okay. I found this at a Ralph's, Kroger's, that kind of place. Uh -huh. This tastes exactly like American okay. cheese. Good. I was blown away by that good. stuff. And you can get it anywhere. Sometimes that'll ruin it for people. So, you mix this all up, okay? Uh -huh. And I would mix it up more than I'm going to here. But we just mix it all up, dump it in, spread it out like a casserole, and throw it in the oven. For how long? 420 degrees, 20 minutes. Okay. Well, all this will be on the website. All of it's okay. on the website. All right. So we throw it in the oven. That's not a real oven. Pull it out. <laughs> oh, look what happened. That's it's, beautiful. That's beautiful. All right. That's it. That's breakfast. Okay. And then we have. I wanted everybody to see all these different options because this is what celebration loaf. Celebration case, loaf. Some is, people just would be fine with. Uh, is that celebration loaf or is that the same thing? They're the same thing. Okay. I just wanted to show a whole plate. Okay. But what you have here is if you wanted to skip the whole veggie-based protein, uh -huh. you can get. Uh, this is roasted garlic mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, no real cream, but it's a, a non-dairy uh, cream spinach. Cream spinach. This is yams, butternut squash, pecans. Um, you've got three grams, four grams of protein, four grams, four grams. So you have your 12 grams of protein in the meal already. But some people like to have the taste of meat. So yeah. the celebration loaf, which I think is delicious, and I, it has that consistency. It is really yummy, and okay. it's another four and a half grams of protein. Okay. So you're way up there. And then for dessert, you made this the other oh. day too. This is outrageous. What is this called? These are uh, my my sister-in-law. Um, makes these every year. They're fantastic. They're called a coconut magic bars, mm -hmm. and they have sweetened condensed milk. So you make your own non-dairy sweetened condensed milk. Mm -hmm. You can use soy milk, rice milk, almond milk, anything like that. They taste exactly the same as the other ones. They're delicious. All of this is on the website. Go to our website for these uh, recipes and uh, information on any of the vegan products that you're looking for. That you at all.